Charterman, Charterman, Rhyme, Charterman, 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 Rhyme, Reading comics, Twitter, Hell of Six, Hell of Wackin' It, Take a Bad Hit, Take a Bad Hit, Charterman, Subscribe, Machine for Domains. Don't you shoot those Hatter Rockies, no to use, no to What's up, you little guys? Shortness Prime here doing another Marvel Legends toy review on the Marvel Legends Classic Iron Man or the Iron Man 3 Legends Classic Iron Man or the Iron Man Legends Classic. I don't know, it's a Marvel Legend figure, okay? That's what I'm trying to say. Anyway, I gotta give a big thanks to my friend Phil for finding this figure and the Iron Patriot and the Heroic Age Iron Man. If you want to see a video of the Heroic Age, click the link right here. If you want to see a video of the Iron Patriot, click right over there. Thanks so much, man. Let's take a look at the packaging really quick. And there it says, Classic Iron Man, and right there, Technology unlike anything the world has ever seen. Behold, the unstoppable Iron Man. So yeah, this is the first time uh, we've seen Iron Man in his 49er colors. <laughs> oh, San Francisco native, I'm very, very sad. Anyway, there's the Build-A-Figure Iron Monger, and like I said earlier, there's the Iron Patriot and the Heroic Age Iron Man. And later on, all the way in the fall, we will see the Mark 42 Iron Man from the movie, Movie Iron Patriot, and a comic series Ultron. And there's the front of the packaging, says Marvel Legends right there, and the new logo, you got an Avengers logo right there. Leg. Yes, this is the right leg to Iron Monger. So that's what, you know, the uh, Plasma Iron Man comes with. So let's go ahead and finish off half of this Build-A-Figure so that I could play with this half an Iron Monger until the fall. And when they say fall, I guess it could mean, I don't know, it's quite a few months right there. So it's the whole third quarter of the 2013. Ah, oh, there it goes. Okay, so it just takes just a tiny bit of might. And that's what the Iron Monger looks like standing up. So, hmm. I think this is going to look really, really cool. Now, like I had mentioned my Iron Patriot review, same thing as this Marvel Universe, or it's actually an Iron Man 2 comic series, Iron Monger, and yeah. Uh, thank you, Dave Honor, for continuing to make figures for Hasbro, even though they let you go quite a while ago. And just to give you a better idea how tall he is, so there he is next to the Build-A-Figure Terax, which, you know, this Iron Monger looks like it's going to be a lot smaller than I expected him to be based off of the picture that they showed us at San Diego Comic-Con. I mean, when they showed us that picture, they had an extremist Iron Man, like, down here. You know what I mean? Like, that's how low it was. When you stand this guy up, it's all the way up to here. Well, when you have it next to him. And to get a size comparison... Whoa, whoa, wait! What the hell? That's not the right figure. Uh, I mean, uh, this guy right here. So, this Iron Man figure is a retooled version of the two-pack that came with Maria Hill or Sharon Carter. There's a stealth version of this. Now, this guy came with two sets of hands, and he came with an interchangeable Tony Stark head. Which you can see right here. So what you do is just pop the head off and put that on there. Now this guy, he does not come with interchangeable hands, but he does come with an interchangeable head, which is the same exact head of this, you know, this other version of Iron Man that we already had. So if you want this one, you could do that, and you can get the, you know, you can switch it out. But you know what? I'm stoked to have the horned version because, you know, I thought it would have been cool. You know, it was just cool. It's a slightly different version. Even though I already have a classic Iron Man. Yes, this is Marvel Legends Series 1 Gold Variant Iron Man. And the regular version did not have the horns right here. So these are, you know, basically the same, well, not the same figure by any means, but based off of the same armor. And yeah, you could see how much bigger this guy is than this one. This one I love so much more. More. I think it's just a much better figure in every way. Even though it kinda like, I kind of I do like this guy. It's just not an amazing figure. This one I think is spectacular. Thank you so much, John 3.0. Pop the head off like so, and you can replace it with the Tony Stark head if you wish. Doesn't this face look a little familiar to you? Doesn't it? I got you, man. So yeah, let's pop this off, and then we could put the alternate head. Now, one thing that is a bummer for me, and Phil, you know, he let me know this before he made the purchase for me was that the eyes came out perfectly fine on this head right here. This looks fine. This is cool. This one, come on, dude, for real. I mean, uh, they just totally missed it right there. So 
that's a bit of a bummer. I'm going to try to find another one and try to do a swap or something. I don't know, try to make a return even though I'd opened it. You know, Target's pretty lean about that, so. But I do like that they've made this head sculpt. So aside from that debauchery on his face, I think the rest of the figure came out pretty damn clean looking. Uh, we don't have the same issue with the Iron Patriot with the with the white colors. or That's actually more of a yellow color over there. So it's a pretty strong layer of paint. I like how this red looks. It's not as shiny as the first release, though. I like how this looks more, you know. Much shinier look. So I think the best combination would have been is having this red with this gold. Because this flat yellow is hella boring. You know what I mean? But this red is much better I think actually not much better it's just a bit better because this isn't bad at all it does have that weird marble like plastic I was mentioning in the other figure reviews like you can see it in the crotch piece right there the iron crotch you know you see what I'm talking about it's kind of there but it's very shiny and shimmery and overall I do like oh see the crackling right there in the plastic so I don't know if that's a good sign or a bad sign I, I, it doesn't really matter to me too much. It doesn't bother me. Again, no peg holes at the bottom of the feet on this guy. I wish they had added peg holes. Would it really cost that much to put a little hole at the bottom of the foot? And here's a quick look at the back of the figure. You know, seeing how it looks. Pretty nice. Now, as I had mentioned before, this version does come with interchangeable hands. If you want to switch them out and put them on this one, not really going to work. Too much of a stretch in my opinion, it's just way too different. So Classic Iron Man's articulation is not bad, not the greatest, but not bad. His head does look up a reasonable amount, which I think is always important for an Iron Man figure. So you can do that, his head does look down very far, it moves side to side just fine. He has ball jointed shoulders, move outward, he move forward, he has bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. He rotates at the wrist and moves up and down at the wrist. He has a good ab crunch, so you can see how much he moves that way and that way. I like how he bends back actually really far, so that's very cool. He has a waist joint. He has the Y joints right here at the hips, so he moves outward, and then the discs right here kind of get in the way. I wish they rotated like the extremists and Iron Patriot figures do, but kind of gets in the way a little bit. You can see it kind of bending on me when I do that. And then because it is a Y joint, to get it to move forward, you got to rotate this ball joint around, then twist it. And then you got to rotate the upper thigh swivel, you know, to get him doing a kick kind of thing. Or just a forward bent knee if you wish to do so. And so double jointed knees. And he rotates side to side at the ankle and up and down at the ankle. And no ankle pivot. So still sad about the lack of ankle pivot. So aside from that mishap on the face, I guess the most disappointing thing with this mold is the size. He is small. And here are all three figures that we have so far from this wave. He is the shortest one. I think he's too short. I think this should be a taller figure. And as I had mentioned before with the bleeding edge armor, this is supposed to be the most skin tight suit and he is the largest one. Even though I do really like this figure. You notice anything different? You notice anything different? Huh, huh, huh? You notice anything? Uh oh. Look at those dots. Oh yeah. Yep. I touched this up a little bit. Cool. Huh, huh, huh. I think it's cool. So if you want to build your Iron Monger figure, it is a must get, you know. Actually, you know, Iron Monger looks like he will be a little bit, you know, cooler, I guess, compared to this Iron Man because it's so short and everything. This is actually looking pretty damn nice, man. I must say, I think this is looking pretty damn cool. I mean, just to go over this really quick, you know, I will do a, a review on Ironmonger, but his, his this joint moves back pretty damn far. Doesn't move forward too much, moves side to side. He has a thigh, uh, okay. He has hip joints that move outward, and they're on a T joint, so they just move forward like that. Upper thigh swivel, double jointed knee, and he has this really cool ball joint right here at the ankle. So it does move side to side, and it moves back a little bit and it moves up a little bit and you could rotate it side to side so quite a bit of movement right there in the feet for this ironmonger oh and this does have peg holes I liked it when I bought it the first time when it was a three three quarter inch figure so I'm excited to get it again for the Marvel Legends line so yeah if you're trying to build your ironmonger it is a must get not a must get if you already have the first release of this guy because I mean you're getting gold I mean it really wouldn't be that hard to paint this guy gold right here and then you'd have a better version but then you wouldn't get this particular head sculpt right here so yeah it's kind of up to you you might as well just get him anyway you can't have too many Iron Man figures in your Marvel Legends collection can you alright don't forget to go to bkbn.net to check out the latest in news reviews and more Sean Long is going to Toy Fair and he'll be reporting and posting updates and whatnot. and my videos are also 
also going to be posted on marvelousnews.com. So that's pretty cool. And then also I have to mention on Monday, next Monday, trying to promote this thing, Toy Talk Live is our podcast. We've been doing it for the past few weeks. So please check that out. All right. Sorry, guys. Hope you like my review. I'll catch you later. Peace. If you're trying to build your Iron Monk,